Former House Speaker and now former Congressman Kevin McCarthy was back on Capitol Hill last night for a rare appearance, and he was in rare form. The ousted speaker held nothing back when he was asked about some of his fellow Republicans, the ones who helped end his congressional career. I, I hope Nancy gets the help she needs. I really do. Are you going to give her any help? No, I am not help financially. I just hope she gets the help to straighten out her life. I mean, she, oh. she's got a lot of challenges. No one will stay working for her. Has there ever been any conversations uh, between you and the former president about Matt Gaetz and his decision to throw you out? Uh, is he supportive of that? I don't know how close you probably think the president is to Gates, but you should figure that out. They're not actually no. that close? Mm. He makes Gates makes it out to be like there. I'm sure Gates probably makes a lot out of it. He probably lies about who he sleeps with too. Melanie Zanona is back with me now. I should say that uh, Matt Gates put a tweet out or an X or whatever it's called now, saying, "What stage of grief is this?" <laughs> uh, and I know you've been talking to some of the others. And I should say that you've been doing some great reporting with Manu about the fact that this isn't just him talking. He's right. actually he McCarthy is acting. He's really trying to yeah. take these members down. Yeah, he has a huge war chest. He is now untethered because he's not a member of Congress, and he can go after these members in primaries, and that is exactly what he's planning to do. Uh, Nancy Mace is one of those members. She has a primary challenger. I asked her her response to what Kevin McCarthy said yesterday, and she said to me, the D.C. swamp doesn't want me back. Too bad. I don't work for them. I work for the people of the 1st Congressional District and no one else. So, you know, in talking to these members, they're brushing aside the criticisms from McCarthy, and they say they're not worried about his revenge tour, which is clearly taking shape right now. But this is something that is definitely happening, and you can tell the emotions are still very raw inside the Republican conference, even four months after Kevin McCarthy was ousted. And emotions are still raw inside Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> I <laughs> Absolutely. Mean, because I, uh, I know our colleague Annie uh, Greer was there. He, he went on for like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. And he, he was there for a ceremony. Uh, but the fact that he wanted to take the time to talk to reporters about uh, the, as he calls them, the crazy eight who ousted him um, on his efforts to fund primary challenges and to get rid of them. Uh, Matt Gates is tougher, but yeah. you think Nancy Mace because of the nature of her district and other issues, he might have a better chance at? Yeah, so McCarthy's associates have been doing some of the legwork behind the scenes to recruit and identify potential primary challengers. Matt Gates, they tried to find someone to challenge him. No one was interested. He's very actually popular in his district. It's a very conservative district. But they believe that Bob Good of Virginia and Nancy Mace in South Carolina are vulnerable to a primary. So they're going to go into those districts and try to play. But back to what you're saying about Kevin McCarthy and how he is still very much feeling all of this. I mean, you got the sense that he missed the job, at least parts of the job. He was holding court with reporters. I mean, this is the same man who used to have photo lines with tourists in the Capitol back when he was speaker. He loved the trappings of the speakership. He worked his entire life to get that job, and it was taken away from him after nine months. So, yeah, there's still some sore feelings. Yeah. And who can blame him? Of course he's going to want some payback here. Yeah, who can blame him? Um, I, I want to connect this conversation back to what we were talking about earlier in the show, which is Mike Johnson and the fact that he uh, is a newbie. Yeah. I mean, he makes newbies look like they have a lot of experience. He just hasn't done this. Given the sort of dysfunction that's going on right now, any buyer's remorse or seller's remorse? Listen, do I think that there's going to be a motion to vacate? Probably not, given that we're so close to November election. People use it as a threat because they want leverage. I don't think there is an appetite, even on the far right, to go through But no regrets about right. pushing McCarthy out? But there are regrets about pushing McCarthy out. From the eight? At least from his allies, not, no. from the, not from the Gates eight. I mean, they have really struggled in the wake of Kevin McCarthy being ousted. They are still reeling from that. I mean, I don't think that Kevin McCarthy, um, you know, realizes just how much the conference was on his side. You know, he had those eight people who ousted him, but there was many who were his allies in his corner. I think he realizes it, yeah. which is why he's so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, thanks. Such great reporting.